Hi everybody, thank you for being here. I hope your week was great, but it's been that, it hasn't been that long actually since my last video. Okay, well, I wanna tuck my hand. Just, you saw the thumbnail, right? I can't believe it. Do you guys remember the video I did about a month ago about that, that little, that Valve Pro device that I got? Okay, and then in that video, I have a moment where I go, Oh my gosh, I noticed something, but I don't want to talk about it yet. I want to see what happens. Okay, well, so this is the conclusion to that video, which will be at the end. Quick intro here. If you're new to my channel, thank you for uh, clicking on that thumbnail and saying I'll check her out. <laughs> it's her hand. She's talking about her hands. Um, my name is Lady. I'm 74 years old. I live just outside of Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. That uh, give you a landmark. It's about two and a half hours north of Seattle, Washington. You got to come through the border. Thank you for being here. And all my regular subscribers, thanks you guys for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. Okay, so the hand thing. Now, you know, our hands as we age, our bodies, our faces, everything changes. And, you know, it's really funny because I have to reflect for a minute. I remember when I was younger, I used to sit and look and go, oh, well, hands really give people's age away. I, you know, and I'd look and I go, wow, those are really old looking hands. And guess what? I ended up with really old looking hands. And it's so funny because it's something that I thought about that was in my mind, like I would have been 22, 23. And, uh, but yet, you know, as I went through life, I didn't protect them from the sun. I didn't, oh my gosh, as a hairdresser, I hardly ever wore, wore gloves. Um, then I worked, I worked at BC Packers at one time, popping herring and, and working on feeders. I mean, we wore gloves, but oh my gosh, we're freezing. And uh, I never protected my hands, but you know what? They held my babies. They took care of my babies. I held hands with people that I loved. I held hands with people I let go. So, and today I can still open a jar of jam and I can still open a jar of pickles and I can still write and I can finger tight. So, you know, there's a lot to be grateful for, but oh, this is kind of cool though, right? I'm going, this was an accident. This is supposed to be for my face. I think it's made a little bit of difference not so much here. I think that's exercises I need to do, which I do, but I get, you know, I get slack. I get into it for, you know, a month or two and then I let go. I don't lose any sleep over any of this stuff because you know that I totally believe aging is an inside job. It's all in here. It'll be exactly as you imagine it. But hey, if we can have a few little perks and something that Oh, especially, oh my gosh, I can't believe I didn't take better care of my hands. Because you know what? I love jewelry and I have a lot of beautiful jewelry. Not so much. I've given lots of the kids, but um, I love jewelry and I used to love having really long nails. But I stopped doing the acrylics and I stopped doing the gel. So now I just struggle. <laughs> I try. I do my best. Okay. And yes, in two more weeks, I think we're going to start, you guys. Just in case, I know some of you didn't even notice. A month ago, I got the Valve Pro, and um, it's for your face. And I decided to use it on my hand as well because, oh, this is by Ladura. I'm going to have the information down below if you want to check it out. And so I was using it on my face, and I would have a little bit of product left. And so I thought, well, why waste it? And I would start using it, whatever was left on my hand, and I'd put a little extra on. I was using uh, the watermelon gelato that they put, it's got peptides in it and all sorts of great things, which is also in the other video if you wanna check it out. So I'll put a little extra on and I would put it on my hand and I cannot believe it that after a month, it's been pretty well a month, a month in four days, I believe, that it made that kind of a difference. Now, one of the big things is like, okay, when I, I don't even know how to do this on camera. I hope you can see it. But you see how my veins are still quite, how they pop up and how you can really see the bones in the hand. And of course, the hyperpigmentation. Sunny, crazy days of summer. Well, in this hand, get it right, 
Can you see how it's changing? It's not as bony looking. The veins aren't as prominent and my hand is getting way lighter. I don't know if you can tell. Well, the still pictures really show what it looks like because I'm always saying, Bill, can you see the difference? Just to make sure that, you know, it's not me, but oh my gosh, when I look at my hands like this, and I don't know how to do that in the camera, it's like this hand goes, you know, it's got, goes down, it comes up, goes down, whoops, goes down, comes up, goes down, comes up. On this one, it's smoothing over. Like, I cannot believe it. So I have to honestly say the changes in my face have not been anything like the changes on my hands. But then of course I didn't do it before and after. I Before and afters are so difficult. I, for me, I look at things and I guess I'm a little bit critical because I go, all right, nice before and after. The light's not the same. The position of her face isn't the same. I've tried them. I'm, I'm speaking from experience where sometimes somebody will say, well, we'd like you to do a, you know, we're sending you some product or we're sending you this. Can you do a before and after? Unless you're in a studio and they're doing it professionally, even then I think it might be really difficult. So that's why I decided to do my right hand and not my left hand. So, um, and believe me, they, they look pretty well. This one looked pretty well exactly the same as this one. So that is my hand story. I was really excited about it. So I'm thinking, you know what, if you're worried about your hands or you a little device like this would be awesome. Uh, I am actually going to be getting a mask, not from this company, a different company. I am. Ex I haven't accepted yet. I'm going to accept it because I love red light therapy. On the on the beauty side of it, I'm personally I'm seeing results. Oops, I almost dropped this. Uh, then I'd have to bend down, and then I might not get back up again, and that would ruin the video. <laughs> Hang on. Okay. Um, but also on the medical side, and that is really quite a story as well on the medical side. So this is nothing new. It's, you know what, it's, it, there's so much, um, um, facts and information that you can get about red light therapy, but you know what? You might want to check with your doctor. If you've got some health issues, you got anything going on. I'm not a doctor. I'm try. I tried this because I, you know, because I wanted to, <laughs> basically. Okay, so that's it. That's my video, you guys. I um, I hope you have a great week, and I want to thank you for being here. And um, yeah, just remember one thing that is really, really important. You know what I am going to say, right? There is no future in your past all the wonderful memories with you. This is so important that you hang on to the beautiful memories. All the lessons, oh my gosh. You know, that's what the journey is about, is learning the lessons. And remember, there is nothing more important than this moment. And then continue to dream. And aging, it's an inside job. Whatever you decide, you're 100% right. Love you. Bye.